Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we managed to get into the Sith base through with using their passcode, but apparently their passcode was out of date. So, uh, we had to end up fighting the Sith. After exploring much of the Sith base and getting stuck on the goddamn water puzzle. Um, for a little bit. We've now reached deeper into the Sith base. We've deactivated their force fields and their steam vents. So let's explore the rest of the base in this episode. First off, we got level ups. Uh, let me see. Dexterities, more for fighting. Central for gold, uh, Goldians and Guardians. Uh, soldiers and Guardians. Let me up my wisdom. Let's put a point in Persuade, Powers, what Jedi powers do I want this time? Force Aura, let's Master Valor. Karf, let's give you a point in Treat Injury, to give you a feat. Um, we could give him master level implants. Yeah, why not? And Julie. What Jedi power should I give you? Uh, ooh, stay. You do not have the prerequisite. Oh, he's not high enough level. Okay, what to give him? Let's give you, uh, energy resist. Yes? Well, let's get exploring. And goes that sif. Pretty easy. And they're supposed to be elite. Right, okay, that's a door of nothingness. Okay, this is the barracks that we blew up. Anything in here worth of note? Nope, so alright, we'll continue moving. Oh, this led behind the force field. So wait, was there a computer somewhere in the base that I miss? I wish I could find this computer so I didn't have to do the goddamn water puzzle. So cap a pressure. And he's shooting at me! have been training cell calf and if he was shooting at me then that means in the Sif are converting the cell calf dormitory training rooms <laughs> Medical room, let's check out that medical room first. Torture cell calf was holding some sort of token. So my guess is they're trying to train the cell calf. Any that failed their training, they've killed off. We need to try and convince the cell calf to leave. Yes, 
I am Donnie Ragtag. What are you so calf doing in a, in the Sith Embassy? The Sith are evil. What they told you is a lie. Good, I knew the Sith could win. Um, if the Republic's defeated, the Sith will enslave your planet. See the Sith are evil Sahara. They only want Madame's Koto. I found a young cell calf dying from a torture here. He gave me this. <laughs> Sif tortured him to death, Sahara. You know it's true. Just be careful with those gifts you've already learned. Beware the dark side, or you may end up betraying your world regardless. <laughs> So we were able to convince the group. So by showing the truth, we gained some light side points. We we're able to convince the cell calf youth that the Sith had been trying to corrupt them, killing off anybody that tries to tries to leave or that doesn't prove useful to them. So at least we managed to evacuate most of the How cell calf. Get in here? I recognize you. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Well, let me guess. You intend to collect this reward, right? <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Uh, <laughs> my eager apprentices. We shall remove this thorn from Malak's side once and for all. Let's go to battle! Hope I managed to stasis this to two Selkath. Ah, the Dark Jedi rolled a save on the on the stasis. <laughs> Oh, 
Lunar Stasis. Yeah. Stasis is so good in this game. It's most likely going to be nerfed to hell in the remake. Yep, no way I was getting around that. A data pad. I presume this data pad can be used to show the cell calf the truth if um the pin doesn't work. The these appear to be the personal notes of the Dark Jedi Master in charge of the Sith base on Medan. It seems that the Sith have been trying to turn an impressionable young cell calf over to the dark side. After reading the lengthy progress reports on this topic, it seems that the final plan ugh, was to use these young cell calf to overthrow the current government and install a puppet, a puppet government that the Sith would dominate. So yeah, they were planning on overthrowing the cell calf government, which is actually a bit of a smart move when you think about it, as this was for the event, as this was you know. S many, I think a few years before the invention of, of Bacta. So, like, let's control the, um, the world's, you know, the galaxy's only Koto supply by, um, um, getting the youth of that civilization and sl and slowly corrupt it so that way we can get the, so that way these youth can seek positions of power and overthrow and eventually overthrow the old government so we can have a government of our own so that way we can get past all the neutrality of the cell calf while also denying the republic uh koto it's actually a pretty smart move when you think about it but of course a move that was not destined to work now i need to figure out which way do i need to go for those air beds okay so I go up, down this way, that should take us to the air vents, and by process of elimination, the computers in there should give us information about Sunray, which we can use in the trial. So let's go to that door. Or not? Oh, is this the way you sneak in? I guess it's the way you sneak in. I would just like the computer to get the sunry information. Then, wait a minute. Oh, this is where I could have done everything from. Okay, that makes sense if I sneak in for here. But I thought there was information about Sunry in the Sith base. Unless I already grabbed it and I didn't notice. Or is the information shared between both bases? And because I got the information from the Republic base, I don't need the information from the Sith base. That would actually make sense if they both share the same information. It's probably easier to get it from the Sith base than it is from the Republic base, now that I think about it. So that is all, because I believe we've explored the entirety of this base. Uh, it's time to leave, but there is something that's going to happen the moment we leave, which is the reason I cut it out from the last episode. So this is going to be fun. Because if you try to leave... Why? Oh, forgive 
Arbiter? I don't need... Uh, what have I been charged with? How will you get me free? Had authorization to enter. <laughs> I kill them wherever I find them. Um, I'm trying to remember what the correct answer is here. And, um, uh, hmm. And no prior association. Let me see. Um, I forget if I think this option is there. If I have the data pad, I think I would rather represent my. Um, yeah, I'll represent myself because I think it's easier to represent myself than have him help me. I said no, fish head. Um. Buenas tardes, tus tres fiores. 
I don't bleed, I, I will tell. Uh, not guilty. Sif lured me inside. I was working for the Republic. Um, I was investigating the disappearances of the young Selkath. Uh, I have this data pad as proof. I found this token on a dead cell calf inside the Sith base. And that's one of the easiest ways to get out of the trial. If you fail the trial, you will die. I believe if you represent yourself, it is the easiest because you can just present the uh, pin or data pad directly to them compared to having the Arbiter. And I think I'm not 100% sure how this uh, triggers, but I know if you save the Cellcalf youth and convince them to leave the Sith base, then they can rush into the trial and declare your innocent. Uh, by telling them directly, but I don't know what triggers that. If it weren't for the Republic, Manan would already be- Alright, you don't say anything new. It's on all the way back here. So, let's go back to 
So, um, I think we'll do Sunri's uh, trial in the next episode. For now, let's head back to the Republic Embassies. Uh, give them back their droid, or their data from their droid, and also tell them, um, now, so ask them about Sunri. Yeah, that is the easiest way to get out of that trial. And keep in mind, you may want to say it before going out of the base, because if you fail at that trial, you will die. They will execute you, and it will be a game over. We were able to show them the truth of what the Sith were doing. Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? Yes, here it is. Excellent. It does not appear to have been tampered with, so the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very poorly. We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Manan is the sole source of Kulto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, we need as much of it as we can get. What has the Republic done? The Selkath conservatives, with their neutrality treaties, seek to treat the Sith and the Republic equally. This includes Kulto exports, but a few more far-sighted self-cap see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there would be nothing to stop them from taking Manon anyway. So we made a deal. What sort of deal? We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Kulto directly at its source. We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction, um, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star map. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station since. Have you not investigated? As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off world to aid in our fight against the Sith, but they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Brackard Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent that droid underwater, and the reason we needed its data back so badly, was to find out what happened to the Rackard Rift station. But now that we have the data back, our operation is in no danger of exposure to the Sith. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. How do I get down there? I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. Merely use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub. -door. It has been programmed to take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours and nearly exhausted the mercenary population of this planet. The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left down there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts. So we now have a means to get down into, into their secret base. But, I think we'll save that for next time, as next time, I think with, with everything we have, let's ask them about Sunray. And then we'll do the Sunray case in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, do like the video as it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode, and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow, and I'll see you all next time. Later.